Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to this week's episode of Do You Cook English? But before we get going and we explain what we've been cooking up for you this week, let's first take a quick look at what we've been working on. Here is today's grammar rule. In today's grammar rule, we are looking at the present participle. This is formed by taking the verb and adding ing. For example, verb plus ing. Change becomes changing. Cook becomes cooking. Eat becomes eating. When do you employ it? You employ it for an action. For example, cooking is good fun. I love reading cookery books. You use it for a possessive action. For example, his driving is just so fast. My French friend's cooking is terrible. After prepositions or conjunctions, on, by, for, in, or when, while, etc. For example, on hearing the music, we all left the nightclub. While being quite late, he still managed to finish on time. For beginning, continuing and ending prepositions or verbs before, after and on. For example, before preparing dinner, they decided to go to the bar. He finished talking and started eating at last. We went on working all night. We also use it in a lot of expressions. For example, to be used to eating, to prevent from falling down, to look forward to meeting you. Well, here we are again, preparing yet another great dish for you here at Chateau de la Mazure. And visiting us again is our chef today, Marie. Marie is from the Brittany region of France. So, bonjour Marie. Bonjour Anna. It's great being back with you all today. And I've been creating a great new dish for all of us to try this week. Today, we are cooking croquant d'asperges et œufs mollets. Aha, uh -huh. oh, or crunchy green asparagus and boiled egg, as we would probably say in England. Oh, Polly, this is something that you all be making at home yourself regularly, as it is great recipe. Aha, uh -huh. okay, great. It sounds delicious, looks great, fantastic ingredients, and I'm looking forward to sampling this myself later. So, let's get cooking. First, to prepare the asparagus. Using a knife, Marie mixes together the breadcrumbs, the hazelnut powder, the salt, some espelette pepper and basil, before washing and peeling the asparagus and then adding them to a pan of boiling water for just a few minutes. And all the time, checking that the asparagus is well cooked but still firm. To prevent the asparagus from further cooking and also to maintain their fresh green colour, Marie is now cooling them in a bowl of iced water before placing them onto an oven tray. Finally, she sprinkles the asparagus with breadcrumbs before putting them in the oven. Now to prepare the eggs. After boiling the water, I'm cooking the eggs for five minutes so that they are soft boiled before transferring the eggs into a salad bowl with cold water. Then I remove the shell. After taking a blender, Marie now mixes the basil, olive oil and salt to obtain a smooth dressing before serving with the asparagus, soft boiled eggs, parmesan, finished with a dash of herb oil. A quick tip, you can always add a few thin slices of chorizo so that the recipe is more spicy. Well, here we go. Another delicious looking entree from Marie. And meanwhile, the whole team are eyeing it up and hoping to get a bite. Aren't you, everybody? <laughs> yes, we have a tasting station after we have finished filming. Ah, jolly good, jolly good, bien sûr. Okay, that's all for this week. And remember, you can start posting your photos onto our Facebook group of this and any other recipes that you've tried. Anyway, keep logging on to our website and we're all looking forward to seeing you again next week for another great recipe. And of course, 
learning another useful grammar rule. So, until next week, au revoir! Au revoir.